This is the auxiliary switch on a street liner cascade. When you turn it go off, it's connecting the voltage that is coming from the battery to the cabin. So when you're turning it on, you should have a red light right here. Our switch is connected. This is like a, like an example. So when you're turning it on, it have four wires. On one of them is coming 12 volt from the battery control model. Connected with, with four four wires that is going to the auxiliary switch. And uh, on the first one, you have a plus. As you can see, 12 volts. This one doesn't have voltage this one doesn't have and this one doesn't have i'm gonna connect the connector back and i'm, I'm gonna show you where the auxiliary switch is receiving 12 volts on which one of you can wire. see this is our cable it's going like this so now i'm gonna show you where the 12 volt 12 volts are coming as you can see no voltage here no voltage here no voltage here and in this one we have voltage this one and this tab is connected to this pin right here only this pin is receiving 12 volts actually if you want to bypass the auxiliary switch you need to connect the first two pins together let me show you You need to connect these two pins. One, two. As you can see, the pins are connected together. Now I'll try to turn on the ignition. As you can see, everything is working. Let me try one more time. Now I'm gonna try to start it. <laughs> As you can see, everything works. If you will connect these two pins together, they're going to the auxiliary switch. You will be able to turn on the ignition, as you can see, like this, and start the truck. <laughs> After you can turn it off, and as you can see, you can turn it on again. Even if you will disconnect the, the pin, you will still will be able to turn it off and on. <laughs> to turn it off completely, you should connect these two pins together. This one and this one. Let me show you. See the ignition is on. If we are going to connect these two pins on the left side, the ignition is gonna turn off completely because the control module is gonna disconnect the battery from the cabin. Now we connected the left side pins both together. And as you can see, even if the the key switch was on and ignition on, it automatically turned it off because the main control battery disconnected the voltage. So now we don't have any voltage and we will not be able to start the truck until we're gonna connect the first two pins together again. The upper pins, this one with the upper one on the right side and the ignition is gonna turn on again. As you can see, I connected them together and now we can turn on the ignition and the power is on again this is how it works